12th of October has been marked as the day to celebrate all things to do with gardening. Morning Life producer Ihumo Tseng Sekhopolo caught up with home grower Jane Griffiths at her home in Johannesburg, you know, to chat more about uh, more than 20 years' knowledge of the garden. Let's take a look at what went down. In celebration of Garden Day 2017, one of Jobek's leading home growers, Jane Griffiths, opened her garden for us to come in and experience as well as learn about all things that has to do with gardening. See here I've got, um, uh, these are chives okay. that, have, that are going to seed. So this is another thing. The minute something goes to seed, like a broccoli plant, um, if you have a broccoli bud, mm -hmm. in, once, if, if, if you don't cut it in time and harvest it and it actually goes to flower, leave it to flower. She took us on a tour around her beautiful garden that she managed to sustain for over two decades. You'll see a lot of the leaves have got holes in them. Um, rather leave those. Don't, they'll still, if there's a little bit of green on the leaf, it'll still yeah. be performing a function of photosynthesis, even though it's got a whole lot of holes in it. Rather leave those broken leaves, let them grow new leaves, and only once it's got new leaves, then you take those, those hail-damaged leaves. After the tour, I sat down with Jane, where she shared her wealth of knowledge and love to organically grow and produce her own vegetables, herbs, and even flowers in the comfort of her own backyard. Jane, let's start with you telling us about your love for growing things. Um, when did you know that you have that seed in you? It all began after I'd spent a year in America and I fell in love with chilies. And in South Africa, you couldn't get that variety of chilies. You could only get little hot red ones or little green, hot green ones. And uh, I brought some seeds back. I dug up some lawns, threw in some compost, and I was hooked. Talk to us about your first plant. Did it turn out to be fruitful? Well, the first chilies I, I threw in the seeds and that year I had about 25 different varieties. It was incredibly <laughs> fruitful. And then I felt obliged to deal with the harvest, you know. Um, I couldn't let it go to waste. So I was making hot chili jellies and hot diggity chili jelly and chili rubs, chili ristras. Um, it, it was incredibly successful and incredibly abundant. What does gardening really mean to you? and what pleasure do you get from it? When I started growing those chilies all those years ago, I had no idea it was going to develop into one of the most important relationships in my life. Um, I really have, over the years, developed an incredible relationship with this garden. I know it intimately. What advice do you have for beginners and seasoned home growers who are passionate about gardening but they do not know how to sustain it? Start small. I mean, you might look at this and go, oh gosh, look at the size of this. I want a nice big veggie garden in that space that I have. And it's all very well, and it's a great idea to have an expansion plan to think, okay, that's why I'm going to, I'm going to have this big vegetable garden. But start with one or two beds, mm -hmm. plant those up, learn how to manage those, and then expand. Her passion and love for gardening stimulated another interest in her, and that is to create her own recipes, mainly made from ingredients she picked from her garden. Jane now has five books under her name, and I got the pleasure of being treated to one of her favorite dishes from one of the books. I'm making a watermelon and feta salad. Now, my, my husband grew up in Turkey mm -hmm. and um, he introduced me to a very, very simple but delicious snack of watermelon, cubes of watermelon, mm -hmm. um, followed by just a little square of feta cheese. And it's the most delicious, simple snack. And I've taken that a little bit further by making a whole salad out of it. Okay, so talk to us about the ingredients. What okay. goes into making... First of all, we've got lettuce and uh, baby spinach. Now you can put any greens in here. These okay. are just some of the ones that I had in my garden at the moment. Nice, crunchy, fresh lettuce. And we've got watermelon, just cubes of, of watermelon cut up. Um, watermelon you can also grow in your garden. And then we've got feta cheese. cheese. Yeah, feta <laughs> cheese, my, one of my favorites. It's nice and salty. Olive oil and uh, white um, wine vinegar. Let me start putting this all together. Right, first of all, we need a little plate to put this on. And this is just laying a nice little crunchy, fresh bed for the watermelon, first of all. Do you need a lot of watermelon? 
No, well, it just depends who uh, you know how many feeding. This this is a this is easily a nice salad for two people. Okay. And so now we've got the all of those ingredients. We're just going to take the pine nuts and we're going to sprinkle the crunch on top. And then the final step is just to add a little bit of the dressing on. I'm just going to give it a little stir. You don't want to put too much dressing. It's just, you know, simply olive oil, white wine vinegar, mm -hmm. a little bit of sweetness. You just want to add a little bit of the dressing on. And voila! voila. <laughs> a delicious, delicious summer watermelon salad. For Morning Life in Johannesburg, I am Ikhomutsen Sokhopolo.